Hey everybody, I I hope that you've had a good day. Today is a was a horrible day in our history. And I want to share a story with you. It's not my story. It's uh, a man named Yuda's uncle's story. I had gone to New York for medical reasons. And uh, on the trip back home, I sat, sat next to a police officer. No, fireman. His name was, he was a fireman. And his name was Yuda. He was talking about his trip to um, Israel and how he was getting ready to be a missionary and everything. And he told me that, you know, he had survived 9-11. And he had an uncle. I'm going to call him um, Officer Jones. He was retiring the day that, well, that the two towers happened. He was standing in line and he was signing his retirement papers. He had gone to college and become a lawyer. And he was literally had the pen in his hand and he was signing his separation papers to go and be a lawyer. And then he heard the call on his radio. And he dropped the pen and took off running towards the towers. He led 14 people to safety and gave his life doing it. Our stories are important. Remembering the things that happened to us, especially trauma, how we deal with it, how we deal with the sadness, how we deal with the event, what happened to us. I remember for days after the event, after the towers got hit that People looked at each other. They looked each other in the eye as they walked past and they smiled or just shared sadness. We were connected in a way that we have never been connected since or before. We have to find a way to get back to that looking at each other like we're human beings, caring about each other. It's truly okay if you have a different opinion than me. I fight. I, I was a Marine. I would have fought for your right to believe differently than I do. Because that's how America is. We listen to everybody's voice. And the one who gives the best argument, not a yelling, screaming match, but can persuade people to their side, they won. There are a lot of good things that happen because we come to the table willing to negotiate. We lost that. Something just weird happened and all of a sudden we couldn't communicate with each other. We couldn't share ideas and be different. Because if we were different, the person with one idea hated us. And couldn't we couldn't understand what had happened. This paradigm had shifted and we could no longer have civil discourse. We couldn't have debates about things without somebody hating us or canceling us or destroying our lives. There are people whose lives have been destroyed by cancel culture. We have to go back to being the human race. We all have different ethnicities. We all have different histories. And it's wonderful to be proud of those, absolutely, because incredible things happened in our past. There were some dark things, absolutely. But the indomitable human spirit, the overcoming spirit is prevalent in every one of our histories. Every one of them. Every ethnicity has a overcoming superhero story. They have people who we have fallen heroes in each and every one of them. With the one thing, the one vein that unites us all is that we overcame, that we survived. Think about the people who crossed the country to go to California. Or the people who crossed oceans to come here to start new lives. 
It's a miracle that you and I are here. They face bubonic plague, starvation, um, hostile forces from everywhere. And we're here. We're still here. Because there is something in us that just won't quit, won't give up. Today, I encourage you to look your fellow human in the eyes. We are meant to share this journey of life. We are meant to take care of each other, to encourage each other to greatness. When you're remembering loved ones or where you were on 9-11, remember what it felt like to be connected to every other American that day. We're facing some really dark times in our country right now. But it's not something that we can't overcome. We can unite and be one people again. We can believe in each other. We can listen to each other's stories. And we can come up with the best solution for everybody, not just one person. That's the great thing about how our country was, our government was built on the Roman Senate. There was a consensus of what was best for everybody not just in one person's favor or one party's favor. It was what was best for each other. They reached across party lines, but they didn't have parties back then. I don't know what they were called in the Roman Senate, but there were different factions, but they reached across. They had civil discourse. They talked to each other and they made changes that were better for the people, for the public, for us. We can do this. It's not too late to listen to each other, to find a better way, to find hope. God is the author of all hope. He is the great peacemaker. Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. Share that peace today with someone. Share that hope with someone. Remember today to be kind to lend hope to someone, share the love of Christ where you can. And tonight when you lay down, I pray that you dream dreams and that God gives you visions and ideas and thoughts and things that will carry you on to the next stage in your walk with him. And when you lay your head down, I pray you lay down in peace and you wake up in peace. Sleep sweet tonight, my brothers and sisters. I love you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless.